The Seven Prayers of St. Bridget of Sweden In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, now I wish to pray the Lord's Prayer seven times in unity with the love with which you sanctified this prayer in your heart. Take it from my lips into your divine heart. Improve and complete it so much that it brings as much honor and joy to the Trinity as you granted it on earth with this prayer. May these pour upon your holy humanity in glorification to your painful wounds and the precious blood that you spill from them. First prayer, the circumcision. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you the first wounds, the first pains, and the first bloodshed as atonement for my and all of humanity's sins of youth, as protection against the first mortal sin, especially among my relatives. Amen. Second prayer, the suffering on the Mount of Olives. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you the terrifying suffering of Jesus' heart on the Mount of Olives and every drop of his bloody sweat as atonement for my and all of humanity's sins of the heart, as protection against such sins, and for the spreading of divine and brotherly love. Amen. Third prayer, the flogging. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands, and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you the many thousands of wounds, the gruesome pains, and the precious blood of the flogging, as atonement for my and all of humanity's sins of the flesh, as protection against such sins, and the preservation of innocence, especially among my relatives. Amen. Fourth prayer, the crowning of thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you the wounds, the pains, and the precious blood of Jesus' holy head from the crowning with thorns as atonement for my and all of humanity's sins of the Spirit, as protection against such sins and the spreading of Christ's kingdom here on earth. Amen. Fifth Prayer The Carrying of the Cross Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you the sufferings on the way of the cross, especially his holy wound on his shoulder and its precious blood as atonement for my and all of humanity's rebellion against the cross. Every grumbling against your holy arrangements and all other sins of the tongue as protection against such sins and for true love of the cross. Amen. Sixth prayer, the crucifixion. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you your Son on the cross, his nailing and raising, his wounds on the hands and feet, and the three streams of his precious blood that poured forth from these for us, his extreme tortures of the body and soul, his precious death, and its non-bleeding renewal in all holy masses on earth, as atonement for all wounds against vows and regulations within the orders, as reparation for my and all of the world's sins, for the sick and the dying, for all holy priests and laymen, for the Holy Father's intentions toward the restoration of Christian families, for the strengthening of faith, for our country and unity among all nations in Christ and His Church, as well as for the diaspora. Amen. Seventh Prayer The Piercing of Jesus' Side Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, accept as worthy for the needs of the Holy Church and as atonement for the sins of all mankind, the precious blood and water, which poured forth from the wound of Jesus' divine heart. Be gracious and merciful toward us. Blood of Christ, the last precious content of his holy heart, Wash me of all my and others' guilt of sin. Water from the side of Christ, wash me clean of all punishments for sin 
and extinguish the flames of purgatory for me and for all the poor souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.